everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I've been absent for a while. There's a few reasons for that, but here's a very fall meet summer type of glam look that I have created for you guys. And I hope it's a much easier tutorial and a much more glam look that you guys can do for whenever you guys go out or whatever. Because my last look was not like an everyday type of glam look for sure. Thank you guys so much for your patience. I know a lot of you have been asking me like, when's your next video? I just needed a little time to get my life together. <laughs> Even though it's still not together, but it's that's fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you watch to the end to make sure what it is and how to enter and win. But anyways, if you guys want to see how I created this gorgeous look, then I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in into my face and you guys can keep on watching. Oh, are you guys ready? Okay, so I already did one eye. As you can see, I look a little bit freaking crazy right now. I'm going to be using multiple palettes, but if you have one palette with similar colors, Go ahead and use that. I'm going to be using all Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes. Well, first of all, actually, let's conceal our eyes. Okay, so first we're going to be using the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop, which is this one right here. I don't know if it's really affordable and good concealer for your eyes. I definitely recommend it. They do have them in Ulta, which is where I got mine. Dig into the concealer and put that all over my eye. It doesn't have to be as crazy as this, but I go a little bit overboard to be honest because of who I am as a person. We're going to go in with, with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rivera palette. It's this gorgeous thing right here. We're going to start off with the color Coastline and we're going to be putting that in our crease. I'm going to be using the Morphe 433. It's this little brush and I'm going to go into the color Coastline, tap the excess off. We're going to go ahead and put that in our crease and we're just going to do windshield wiper motions. And I'm just kind of blending out the, um, the outside of it. You want to use a very light hand anytime you're putting in a new color because you don't want it to look patchy. What I do, I just use like the end of the brush and then that way I have a very light hand. And I'm just going to be using the Morphe 441 brush. I'm just going to use that to lightly blend the outer edges. And I'm just doing like little circular motions. Now we're going to go ahead and use the Morphe 456, which is this little brush right here. I'm going to go in with the color Monte Carlo right here. We're going to be doing the same exact thing. We're going to be putting that in our crease. And we're just going to be doing windshield wiper motions. How have you guys been? What you guys been up to? Just want to know what's going on in everyone's life. Because I'm nosy like that. What's up? For me. So I know it's been a while for me that I've been on here. And there's reasons for that. I have videos that I've made, but I just never posted them. Honestly, I just felt like it really wasn't good enough. Um, and then I had a lot of technical difficulties. You're going to also want to drag it out here to the inner corner and kind kind of just do like a little V shape bring it out like halfway we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette this other beautiful palette right here we're gonna be using the color Saturn this just reminded me of my line sister's daughter hi line sister and hi Saturn I'm gonna be using the Morphe 433 brush and then I'm just going to tap off the excess and then from the very outer and then from the very outer corner, we're going to start from there in a V shape. You're going to want to bring it to the inner corner of your eye as well, just like you did for the other colors. So it's going to look something like this. So now you're going to want to take the Morphe 513 brush. It's a bigger blending brush. And you're going to want to use that to lightly blend that into the other colors. Remember to use the end of the brush. We're going to be doing circular motions and just blending that color in. I'm going in. This eye is coming on better than the other eye already. So next, we're going to be using the color Fudge in the Subculture palette. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Morphe 456. It's this little brush. And I'm dipping into the color Fudge. And we're just going to use a very light 
Ayan. Okay. And then we're just gonna literally keep blending this. Because browns are a little bit hard to blend with. They can be a little bit patchy. So it's going to look a little bit messy, but don't panic. Once we cut the crease, it like changes everything. I'm taking my Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow Number 4 brush. And then I'm just going to use that to blend out the, inner, or the outer corner. So it can look a little bit more blended. <laughs> I'm just going to do circular motions in the outer corner. And then I'm going to be like dragging it, windshield wiper motion, to the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm going to be taking the Morphe 441 brush. And I'm just going to be using that to lightly blend out the outer edges. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer once again. And then I'm just taking this flat brush right here that I have. You can use any flat brush. And I just cover the concealer brush on both sides. Make sure I have a good fit. You're going to want to conceal half, about like halfway on your eyelid. Now once you got your crease and you're good to go, you're going to want to go into the Rivera palette again. And then we're going to use this, the color Sales up here. And we're going to use that all over where we just put the concealer. I'm going to use a flat brush. And then I'm just going to put that all over my lid where I just concealed. What I'm going to do to make it, to give it a more clean cut and also just to bring out the color just a tad I'm gonna use like a tiny skinny brush like this it's actually a paintbrush that I got at Michaels I think or AC Moore I actually used like this type of brush before but this just kind of gives me more precision so I just dip that brush into the color fudge and the subculture palette I'm just gonna outline the outer part of the concealer just to give it more depth and um, make it more of a clean cut So I added my little line. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 506 brush, I believe. Yeah. Don't worry about blending it into the white. We can always just add a little bit more white on top and that will fix everything. And I'm just gonna go lift my brow and just lightly blend that out just a tad. So it's not just a harsh line. Now we can go back into the white and then just add that to the parts where it got a little bit of color to it. So what you're going to want to do now is take a bigger blending brush and go in with the color Coastline from the Rivera palette and just dab your brush a little bit. I'm using the Morphe 441 and I just picked up a tiny bit and I'm just going to go in and just go into the outer edges and just lightly blend everything together. Alright, almost done. We're literally at the finish line, almost there. We're gonna go into the Rivetta palette and use the colors Coastline and Monte Carlo. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my flat brush. And I'm gonna put the Monte Carlo, and I'm gonna just put that right here, blend that into the brown, and just pick up as needed. I'm just gonna use a fluffy blending brush and just kind of blend those together. Now you're going to want to blend in the coastline, which is the lighter pink, into the white and the pink. Give it a nice ombre effect. Just continue adding to the colors until you feel like it looks good. I just want to make sure the white is also blended into the colors. And then once again, I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush, one that has a tad bit of the coastline shade on it from the last time I blended. And I'm going to go ahead and blend the outside edges just a tad one more time. This is how it should look for the most part. So for the last finishing touches on the eye, I'm going to grab a little bit of the color Lucid from the Prism palette. 
It's this really pretty like metallic-y white and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye and I just dragged it a little bit to my bottom lash. So for the lashes, I'm gonna be using this brand of lashes. I already put one in, but this is how the lash looks. Super cute, it's one of my favorite lashes, especially to wear with um, a really glam look. I'm using the dual lash glue with the brush, it's the green one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the lash, the lash, the lash sensational, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I just added some lipstick. I used the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I just used, um, I don't know what the colors are to be honest, but I used this one right here and then I used this pink one in the middle. I just ended up using a little bit of chapstick on top. So this is it for the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys loved this video. I did say I was gonna do a giveaway at the end of the video. I'm gonna be giving away a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette. I wanna show you guys the inside of it. I have not used it still unopened, but I wanted to just show you guys how it looks like. This is what it looks like from the outside and this is how it looks like from the inside. It's a very gorgeous palette and it would actually be a perfect palette for this look that I just finished. If you want to win this palette, all you got to do is share, like, subscribe, and comment when done. And, and I will be randomly choosing a winner for this palette. But, but don't worry, if you don't win this round, I have like three other palettes that I am going to be giving away in my next upcoming videos. So stay tuned. You'll have a chance here and there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate it. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!